Good morning. We are up and early 7 a.m. on a Friday. We are headed out on another Catholic road trip, this time to the Monastery of the Holy Spirit in Georgia. The forecast is for beautiful weather, 75 degrees. We don't get many days like yeah. that in May in the South, so we're taking full advantage of it. And of course, we're taking you along. Google Maps definitely took us on a scenic ride through the back roads of Georgia, but it was a beautiful drive and here we are arriving at the monastery. So when we got there, we stopped and took a look at the map. And right up front, there was some really interesting artwork for the monastery contributors. Then this right here is leading up to the main gift shop. And there were definitely tons of beautiful spots around the monastery. Right up front, they had some tempting baked goods. <laughs> More about those later. And then here is just a peek inside the gift shop. They definitely had a lot of beautiful artwork in here. Of course, we had to check out all the books and we were so happy to see they even had a shelf for used books. So score one for the monks. And then we headed out to the Monastery Museum. The monastery was founded in 1944 and currently 24 Trappist monks live here. So here we are on our way to the museum to see all that it has to offer. So inside the museum, there were all sorts of really interesting displays about the history of the monastery and also what it's like to be a Trappist monk. So we bought some biscotti. We didn't know if we should buy a single one or a four pack. So we went with a four pack. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Yep, yeah, choice. very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Really good choice. Yeah. If you could go online and buy these, these would make a great gift to send a coffee lover. It's blueberry, cherry, mm -hmm. pistachio. Oh. <laughs> So now we are headed away from the gift shop. We're going towards the church and there's a beautiful prayer walk to the Abbey Church with many different interesting sites along the way. Here we are sort of turning the corner and approaching the church. There were not a lot of people around, um, but that was fine. And as you can see, the lawn is very beautiful and very well kept. the church and we're about to go in. It is very beautiful here and we have lucked out with the weather for sure. It's nice and cool. We're headed inside the church now. As you'll see, it is extremely beautiful inside. There was a separate area where the public could sit during the prayer time and then way up front there were the stalls, the choir stalls for the monks. And after leaving the church, we headed down a level of sorts and went over to the lake. 
and this is when we started running into all the monastery cats. Uh, not many were super friendly, except for this guy over here, who just wanted a bunch of love and attention. After our cat break, we headed down towards the lake. It was a pretty easy walk from the main church and very beautiful. And then after the lake, we took a walk down Magnolia Lane, which was a short road, but it was kind of neat because there were beautiful big magnolia trees on either side of the road. Okay, so we stopped by the gift shop. You already saw that we bought the biscotti so good. Mm -hmm. And similarly, we bought some fudge. One of our boys is having a birthday. He likes fudge. He's getting monk fudge. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. God bless the monks. They had a used bookshelf. So we found this one, A Cause of Our Joy. It's about the different titles of Our Lady and explains where the titles come from. So that's really cool. And bonus, everything on the used bookshelf was half off. So yay. We got this book, Viper. It's a Some mystery, mystery thriller. thriller book with Our Lady know. of Guadalupe, a murder mystery. I don't, it just looked fun. It's a sequel to another book that we haven't read, but it looks like it could be really good from Sophia Institute Press. So, you know, half off. Yay. The Exercises of St. Gertrude. This looked very interesting. It's an older book. I'm not sure what type of exercising St. Gertrude did. Seven exercises treating different themes, baptism, spiritual stuff. For a dollar fifty, we decided. You decided. Well, You're I just decided. buying books. <laughs> I have buy, uh, I have a serious problem. For a dollar fifty, we decided that it might be worth checking out. And lastly, we got a little sticker, just as a remembrance of our trip. The monastery is also part of an extensive walking trail system in the area, so we decided to check out that and see what it was all about. It was a pretty wooded trail as you can see, but it was really well kept, well maintained. So we decided to walk away just to see what we could see, and then we ran into this sign, remote area ahead, and that's when we decided to turn back. We've been here, I don't know, about three hours it's now. one o'clock right now. Well, one fifteen. yeah. So. At noon, we went and had prayers with the monks in the church, which was so cool. I'm telling you, there are not <laughs> a lot of monks. <laughs> I don't know, there may be what? 10, 12, Maybe. yeah, they, they don't look very young, so pray for vocations, <laughs> mm -hmm. but the chanting was beautiful, and their midday prayers, it only lasts 15 minutes, yeah, yeah 15 minutes, wasn't that long, so we did that, and then we had mm -hmm. a picnic lunch, and then, as you saw, we went for a little bit of a walk. Anyway, the Monastery of the Holy Spirit fantastic. Lots of cats for right. some reason. Right, we were friendly with all the stray, or I guess the monastery cats, yes. holy cats. So I guess. Everyone was super friendly. The biscotti, oh my goodness. <laughs> Kate, yeah, yeah. Kate, get the box ready for the drive home. So anyway. Right, right here. So this was just a really great side trip for us. It's been a really hectic May with all kinds of stuff going on with family and end of school and everything else on this earth everything else on this earth so it was so nice to get away sometimes it feels really hard to get away you know like you almost have to force yourself mm -hmm. to do it but then how you know when you get there you're thinking I'm so glad yeah, I'm glad I did it I'm so glad I came I just needed this break that's kind of how we feel I guess at least I feel yeah sort of <laughs> So thanks for coming along with us today on our trip mm -hmm. to the Monastery of the Holy Spirit. Yep, another Catholic road trip in the books. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for coming along with us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.